gents, how are you doing? Joe here. Now this is a video to show you how to use the Google Analytics section down here. You can see uh, once you're logged into your tab editor, down here on the left hand side under additional settings you've got Google Analytics UA and Google Analytics URL. Now please note this is not a video tutorial on how to use Google Analytics. Uh, we have been waiting for Google to bring out their new version, they have just done that. Uh, so we're planning to bring out a full step-by-step -step analytics course uh, to go into the site early 2012. So depending on when you're watching this video, um, then the course may already be uploaded in the site. Um, if it's pre-2012, then it's not there yet. Um, but as I say, that is a step-by-step -step how to use Google Analytics, how to set up tracking, goals, um, you know, all of that kind of stuff. For this video is simply um, to show you how to set up Google Analytics for your page, okay? Now, I would just say, if you're thinking, oh, well, this doesn't apply to me, I don't really use Google Analytics, then stop right now you need to be measuring how many visitors are coming to your page okay this is really really important if I go to one of my pages that I've actually got on Facebook at the moment you go and you create your page okay um, and you put it on your Facebook page if you're not measuring how many people are visiting your page and how many people are signing into your list how do you know your page is working if you've done any of my training, my 90 day coaching, anything like that, you will know that I talk about testing and measuring quite a lot and you do need to be ensuring that your efforts are paying off. So you want to be making sure that you've got Google Analytics on your pages so that you can monitor how many visitors are coming to your page and then you can see from your autoresponder how many people are signing up to your offer and then you need to be working out the conversion rate. And if you're converting anything less than 30 to 35 percent, then you need to be tweaking this page and making it more compelling. What I mean by 30 to 35 percent is that for every hundred people that visit your page, 30 to 35 of those people are signing up to your list. If you're getting less than that, then you want to be tweaking this page and making it far more compelling for people to sign up. Okay? Um, so that's why we use Google Analytics on our pages. So let's go back and grab the test page that I wanted to show you. So I'm going here into welcome. Okay, so here's my page. So you've come in, you've set up your page, blah, blah, blah. And then we go down here and you'll see this Google Analytics URL. This is the URL you are going to use to set up a Google Analytics account. So I want you to copy that URL and go and place it in a notepad or a text editor file or wherever you want to put it, okay? Because we're going to be using that URL. Next, we need to go into our Google Analytics account. If you do not have a Google Analytics account yet, I am just going to very quickly show you how to set one up. If you do already have a Google Analytics account, you can probably fast forward this video by a few minutes. Okay, so you go to google.com forward slash analytics and then simply click sign up now. This is very, very easy. Okay, I've just created a test Gmail account. So you will then come to this page, which will ask you to sign in on your Gmail account, okay? So you'd sign in with your Gmail account, which is then going to take you to another page, which is this one, okay? So it's just saying sign up, add your code, learn about your audience. So come over here to this sign up, big sign up button here and simply click that. And then that is going to bring you to this page. Those of you who already have Google Analytics accounts, if you haven't been in for a few days, you may notice that it's all changed. Google have released their new version, okay? Um, and if you already have an account up here on the top right hand corner you'll see there'll be an option for you to use the old version so if you want to just while you're testing the new version you want to click on that then you can actually see the old version as well but for now um, we want an account name so you might call the account name your um, Facebook page yeah what an account is in Google Analytics is this is kind of your overall account so for instance you might set up let's say my Facebook page is the Social Networking Academy so I might call my account the Social Networking Academy fan page okay then what you can do is you can create lots of different profiles so let's say I'm, I'm using 10 tabs on my Facebook fan page what I want to do is set up 10 different profiles so I'd put in 10 different URLs. I can then monitor the amount of visitors going to each page, each separate page, yeah? But it's all within my Social Networking Academy fan page account, okay? 
So let's call this test account for now. So you know it might be my coffee club fan page, which is what I've set it up under here. I've put this is this is I've put this on the coffee club. Um, but we'll just call it test account for now. And here's where we need that URL that you copied. Okay, so the URL from down here. Here's where we need it in this section here. So we put the URL in. Now do please note that the HTTP is already here. So do make sure that you have not duplicated that because it will not work. All you want is the www dot and then you want the rest of that URL that's in that box. Make sure you set your correct time zone at this stage, okay? And then don't worry about anything else. Um, obviously, you need to put in your country. I should put Thailand, really, shouldn't I? Um, and then, yes, I agree. And then create account, okay? And we press create account and success. Boom. Okay, that's it. Here is our new account, okay, with this particular profile. This is our, our profile. So we're going to grab this ID here, the whole thing. All right, we want the whole ID there, web property ID UA dash. It always starts with UA, okay? Copy that, I want you to copy that, come back to this page, and you're going to put that full ID in there, okay? And that's it. As soon as you then click Update tab, then that basically means that that ID is now set and give it about oh I would say a few hours okay to to catch up if you go back now and refresh it'll probably continue to say tracking not installed so I would give it a few hours okay um, if it's still saying tracking not installed within 24 hours you know you've done something wrong um, but this should work absolutely fine if I go over to um, mine Here's my analytic settings, and you can see here it's not been it's not been updated actually. Let me just click refresh. This is actually the old view. It, the analytics has literally just changed in the last two days, I would say, with the new um, new view. So let me just go in. Just pause a second while that finds its way. So I set up my two uh, pages um, a couple of days ago and you can see here I'm starting to um, see the visits coming through and that's what you'll see. You'll see little green ticks okay, and it will tell you that the tracking is working and that uh, people are now seeing your page. Okay, uh, that's it. That's how you set it up. If you have any questions or queries at all, please don't hesitate, if you're a member, to go to the discussion forum in the Social Networking Academy and let us know. Or if you are a free member, head over to the fan page, leave me your questions or queries, and I'll be more than happy to help um, and, uh, and resolve your issues for you. Okay, thanks very much for listening, and I'll speak to you soon.